Hey guys, I'm finally back with a new video and today I'm going to be showing you how I get my sketches looking all musty and crusty to really soft and jelly-like and ready for color. So yeah, I'm going to jump right into it with step one and that is looking for references. So the first thing that I do when I find a reference is I kind of take a step back and look at what I'm drawing. I look at the shapes and I look at the, the pose and the form and all that. And um, I kind of do this part in my head so that when I'm finally about to sketch, I, I just focus on the, the shape of the entire drawing. I never like to focus on any small details just yet. I just place everything where they need to go just because that doesn't really matter at this part because once you focus way too hard on the details you kind of start to overthink it well at least I do and yeah I kind of gotta trust the process at this part I think it looks a little bit crazy but that's okay Also on, on these parts, especially throughout the whole drawing, I think it's really important to take advantage of the tools that come with Procreate or any any drawing app, really, if, if they do have these tools. Um, I use a lot of Liquify. I use the lasso tool a lot to grab specific areas and resizing them and moving things around. Don't be afraid to have fun with your reference and change things up. It doesn't have to be like exactly the same. For example, with this one, I'm only really changing the direction she's looking at. I wanted her to look up because I really enjoy drawing the eyes. So I don't want half of the eyes kind of hidden with her looking like a little bit down in a way. One thing you should really not forget is don't forget to flip your canvas like it's really important to do that just because it gives you it almost gives you like a fresh outlook on the drawing from a completely different perspective like I swear I will flip my drawing and as perfect as I think it looks once it's flipped it looks wonky and distorted and I'm just like how like it doesn't even make sense but as long as you can flip it and use liquify to kind of fix those parts that look a little bit lopsided then it makes like the biggest difference so the way that i got my lines really soft and blended is i just got my blender tool and i used one of my brushes to just blend out some of the lines i also uh, erased the guidelines and then on top of that, I got a darker color and I just put like fresher, clean lines on top of where my sketch was. This is pretty much the same thing as drawing and painting in grayscale, but instead of gray, I do kind of like a, a red toned brown. Um, just because I feel like I can work with it a lot easily and then when it is time for color um, it blends really well with most skin tones don't be afraid to add like hard lines as well everything doesn't have to be blended either i personally like to have a balance between hard lines and blending i do go more on like the blending side but i feel like once you're going overboard with blending, it all just kind of looks fuzzy. Um, here, I'm just adding um, another layer right under the one I was working on. And I'm just um, going to add a solid color over the sketch using the lasso tool. You can do it by hand too if you don't want to use that. Um, then you can just have it as your desired shade. Here I just wanted like a, a really 
um, basic light sketch. Um, once I add the colors, when I'll have like the different skin tones. Um, here I'm also, I'm also adding highlights and stuff here, but that's kind of just to make the just a sketch more jelly-like. That's pretty much it for the um, sketching. I will have some of the coloring um, for the rest of the video, but that's that's gonna be a whole different tutorial um, with the coloring. But I left it there just in case you want to see some of the process for the finished drawing. Also, shout out to the homie Steve for this uh, this new mic. I sound way better than my last video. I feel like it's made such a huge difference and it's been a lot easier to record my voice. So yeah, thank you Steve. Thank you for staying to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed. And if you want to see more, um, just like and subscribe. Bye.